what is going on guys, this is Tuxin and I'm back with another video and today's video I'm showing you guys how to get the Patriotic Jeep on H1Z1 but first make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and help me get to my goal of 300 subscribers. With that being said, let's get right into this video. Okay, so in order for you to make schools, you have to bet schools. So most of you already probably know that uh, the Patriotic Jeep is freaking really expensive. It costs 50,000 schools in the school market okay so in today's video i'm about to show you the fastest way to get schools on h1z1 and so i'm, I'm talking about maybe five to ten thousand schools every single day uh ten thousand is a lot it, it all depends how much you play and uh how high you place in solo but the first thing you want to do is obviously you want to bet 100 schools every single solo match you get okay then what you want to do is you want to, when you start parachuting, you want to find a car spawn and you want to try to go to anywhere where you know nobody goes. So what I like to do is uh, when you first parachute in, you, you want to look for a car and when you get that car, if it, right off spawn, you want to go straight northeast. Uh, there's a warehouse with the double cop car spawns. And then you can loot those warehouses or you can go to uh, the dam. And so that's that's honestly what I do every single game. Uh, see, the, the thing about it is you want to at least make to place 13th because that's when you will get your money back. You will get like 100 and like 13 schools. But obviously you're not going to make a, a major profit if you do place uh, 13th. So you mainly want to shoot for top five. And so what you want to do after you, uh, you know, get your car, you want to just drive north, northeast, you know, go to that back road, go by the fire station, and then just keep on going. And then uh, there's two big warehouses to your left. There's a double cop car spawn, Jeep, uh, Jeep spawn, and also a truck spawn in that same little warehouse section. And so... Uh, mostly what I like to do is get the cop car and then go to the dam and loot out. And what you want to look for when looting, you want to have a ton of, well not a ton of ammo since you, you the whole goal in this method is not to gain any gunfights. You don't want to get no kills because in when you play solo, you can easily get pinched a lot. So what you want to do is Look for a ton of throwables, especially smokes and grenades. That's the main two throwables you want to look for, but grab everything. I wouldn't really uh, worry about stun grenades. They really don't uh, help you at the final ending of the game. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to just ride the gas. You don't want to push in too hard. You want to just stay as close as you can to the gas. Cut your car off, everything. And run from gunfights. Don't go to any gunfights. If you do this, you will make it to top five. Okay, so when you, like, run from all the gunfights, you know, like, even when people start chasing, you just start taking off. Don't even stop. Don't try to challenge them or anything unless he obviously shoots you and you have to jump out. So what you want to do, you obviously want to just keep on driving. Ride the gas as long as you can, and then uh, when those five people remaining, this is the most crucial part right here. Uh, when there's only five people left, you you want them to fight it out. That's the main thing you want them to do. Okay, so when they when it says three remain, you obviously want the other two people to fight it out. And you see, like what I like to do, I like to push, like go for first place or second place. Uh, second place, you get like 580 schools. First place, you get 1,000. So uh, the Patriotic Jeep is 50,000 schools. So if you can get 10,000 in one day, you can have it in five days. Uh, but what I kind of did, I kind of mainly got 5,000 every single day. And maybe got like eight to 10,000 one or two more days. So it took me around two weeks to get the Patriotic Jeep. And... If you do this method uh, correctly, you should be able to get a lot of wins. Because a lot of people you go against, you 
you see, the main thing you want to throw grenades at the ending. Grenades and smokes. And then you have a great chance of winning. But if you come and s shoot for at least second place, uh, because that's where you, you start really making a profit in schools. And so, just do this method over and over again. Play it as much as you can, and you will literally have the Patriotic Jeep in no time. Like I said, I started uh, two weeks ago, and I uh, got the Patriotic Jeep uh, like yesterday or something like that. And so it's it's well worth it. Not many people have it. And also, the another thing that I, I saw that I thought was kind of stupid is you can actually scrap the Patriotic Jeep for 500 scrap, but obviously that's not worth the 500 scrap. It should be worth at least a thousand or two thousand, since it does cost fifty thousand scores. But another thing, when you first spawn in the map, okay, let's say you spawn over PV, okay. There's only, I mean, there's a lot of car spawns in PV, but there's also a ton of people who actually go for the car spawns. So if you are in that situation where you do not have a car or anything like that, you want to. Try land, loot out, and play as slow as possible. Don't go for any gunfights. Make sure, try to listen for people running or anything like that. It is tough landing in the city. That's why I try to avoid it. And so, uh, obviously, when you land in the city, you want to try to get out as fast as possible. Because if you guys notice, there's probably 100 people who land in the city. And that's where most people die right off the bat is in the cities. So try to avoid the cities as much as possible. Try to go for the car spawns outside of cities and stuff. Okay, so if you spawn Cranberry area, right, and you get a car, try to go straight south. There's these warehouses on the very middle of the map, on the very bottom of the map, it's straight south, and uh, this is also... A jeep spawn, cop car spawn, truck spawn. You can find all those spawns, and you want to get the gas. You want to loot up there, and then you just want to play uh, the gas just like you would at the the dam. So if you follow this method over and over again, I guarantee you, just play play as slow as possible. Don't go for any gunfights, nothing. Try to shoot for top five. At least you want to at least make top thirteen because you will get your money back. But you won't really make a profit. So shoot for top five if you really want to make a profit. And I guarantee anybody can do this. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad. If you know how to drive a car, you should be able to make it in top five easily. Like right now, after uh, with me doing this method, uh, I got it in two weeks. I already got my 10 wins. Uh, as you guys know, the new season just came out. A few days ago, I already have 10 wins. I'm in Masters right now. And so if you know how to win gunfights and all this stuff, then you can easily win on uh, H1Z1. Easily. Uh, to me, I think this new update made the game way easier because there's hardly no recoil in the AR-15 now. So, uh, like I said, just play slow, play the gas, and shoot the top five. And then you will make the biggest profit Try to at least make 5,000 schools a day, and you will make it in uh, 10 days, which isn't really bad at all. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.